Hi, today we're going to work on Photoshop CC 2021 Classroom in a Book, Chapter Number 3, which is all about working with selections. Selections are a really important skill you need to have for Photoshop. It makes it much easier to cut things out, to remove backgrounds, to create different types of uh, collages, montages, put your roommate's head on Donald Duck's body. So let's go ahead and take a peek at Bridge. And in Bridge, you can go ahead and we see our got our end result of what we're creating and our start. So that's always a good way to take a peek. So let's go ahead and Photoshop. Let's do a file open. And let's go ahead and find our lesson three for Photoshop. And grab that start file and say open. Let's do a file, save as. First initial, last name, underscore Photoshop, classroom in the book, chapter number three. I'm in my lesson three folder, so I'm going to go ahead and say save. So the first thing we're going to do is play with the magic wand tool. So the magic wand tool selects all the pixels of a particular color in a color range. So we're going to try this two wrong ways, and then we'll show you the right. Well, two, two ways to do it, and then we'll show you one other way to do it that's going to work a little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my zoom tool. Let's go ahead and zoom in here on this sun, sand dollar down here. I'm going to make sure my workspace is in. I'm going to do my reset essentials, so we're all working from the same place. And let's go ahead and grab the magic wand tool. So you'll find that the magic wand tool is under the object selection. It's about the fourth one down. So let's grab that magic wand. So the magic wand is going to go ahead and choose pixels that are similar in color. So we can do a couple different things here. We could just magic wand and select the red, which is OK, except we need to be able to move the sand dollar, not the background. So what we've done right now I'm going to hold my space bar and move up. It's made it so if I hit delete, we're going to go ahead and delete just the red. But that doesn't really help us move the sand dollar. So I'm going to go ahead and push cancel. I'm going to do control D to turn off my dancing ants. So the next thing I can do is try using my magic wand on the sand dollar itself. But if you see, it's not really picking up what I want. My tolerance right now is set to 20. I'm going to go ahead and bump that up to 32 and try and mag magic wand again. So what's happening is it's saying, I want you to pick up a color that's 32 darker and 32 lighter than what we have right now. So you can see if I did the selection right now, I'd actually be missing quite a bit of this starfish. So it's not, or the sand dollar. It's not really what I want to do. So magic wand isn't necessarily the right tool to use in this one. So let's go ahead and do a control D and deselect instead. And let's go ahead and try a different tool. Let's grab our quick selection. So under our magic wand, our second one down is this quick selection tool. You see I'm set to plus. I want to make sure that my enhance edge is checked. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we uh, can create a really good subject. So we've done a really good job. It, see, because it's a pretty standard color, it grabs all that stuff all at once. So I'm going to leave it selected, do a control minus. Now I'm going to go ahead with my move tool, which is the plus kind of the compass rose. I'm going to grab and drag it up here to spot number C. So I've got my first one. Now since we are not working with layers, once we deselect, we cannot grab it. Again, we're basically telling the layers to sit on top of the pixels to mix together. So make sure it's where you want it. When you're, you're happy where it's at, let's go ahead and, oh, we want an A. I lied. Let's put an A. See? Good thing I didn't turn it off yet. And let's go ahead and control D and deselect to do control S and save. So now we're going to use the object selection tool in order to do this piece of coral down here. So I'm going to go ahead and do my control plus, zoom in, use my hand. I could zoom in down there. So we're going to grab the object selection tool. So it's that top one. And what I need to do with object selection is I need to draw a rough selection around what I want to grab. And then it's basically going to go ahead and do a lot of the hard work for us. And it's really a pretty cool tool. Sometimes it takes a little bit to work. Um, and we want to make sure we grab. So it's created my selection for me. So I can go ahead and do a control minus and zoom out. And we'll grab that move tool. You see it's grabbed everything around it. Go ahead and grab it and move it up here to spot number B kind of that shadow. I'm going to go ahead and let go. Then I can do a select and deselect. And so now we've put two of our pieces in. 
So now we want to figure out how to manually do some of these selections. So the next thing we're going to do is grab this bowl of shells. So I'm going to grab my zoom tool and kind of come down here to my scrubby zoom. I've got it a little too big, so I'm going to hit my alt and make it minus, make it a little bit smaller. All right, so when we're working with this circle, it's not actually a circle, it's kind of an oval, it's kind of a weird one. So selectioning, creating these kind of selections is a little bit weird. So we're going to grab our elliptical marquee. And we're going to pay attention. I'm going to drag and I'm going to say, do not release the mouse button. Okay, because we're going to do a few things in between. So I'm going to go ahead, create my selection a little bit outside because I'm going to be able to move it. I'm going to drag. I'm not going to release my mouse. I'm going to hit my space bar. I'm going to go ahead and adjust that up a little bit. I'm going to let go of the space bar. I'm going to grab and drag it out a little bit more. Hit my space bar. Move it over again. So until you get your selection exactly the way you want it, when it's perfect, you've got it the way you need it, go ahead and release that mouse button. And you will have selected this bowl of shells. And yes, I know it seems like I've made it easy, but I've also done this about 10 jillion times. So let's go ahead and grab our move tool. Grab that move tool and go ahead and move it up to spot number C. And go ahead and let go. Control D to deselect and Control S to save. So our collage is coming along pretty nicely so far. So the next thing we're going to do is play with the lasso tools. And with our lasso tools, we're going to go ahead and select our muscle down here. So let's go ahead with our zoom tool and zoom in here on my muscle. Kind of move up a little bit. My hand. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lasso tool on this one. So the lasso tool helps you make selections that require both freehand and straight lines using those keyboard shortcuts. So we're going to go ahead and grab the lasso tool. It's the top one. And we're going to go ahead and start at kind of this section right down here. And the key is here, do not release the mouse button. So we're going to go ahead and start dragging around. It's going to start selecting around the outside. So now when I get to big longer sections, I can go ahead and hit the Alt or Option key. It'll let me do a straight section, a little bit easier. And I still want to be able to add some more. I'm going to go ahead and see I released my mouse button, so that's exactly what I didn't want to do. So I'm going to Control D and start again. I'm going to Control Plus and make it a little bit bigger. All right, so I've got my lasso. And so the lasso is not quite perfect. You kind of have to pay attention to what you're doing. Don't let go of the mouse button, otherwise you're going to have problems. So as I just did just there. So it's really kind of one of those fussy tools. So I'm going to come down here. I'm going to hit Alt. And it's going to let me put some points in. Kind of make some straighter sections. So I'm still holding my Alt or Option key down. Okay, so I'm still using my Alt or Option. I'm going to hold my mouse key down. And start doing just kind of going around there again. So now I'm kind of to a straight part again. So I'm going to hit my Alter option. Start clicking some more. So the better your selection, the easier it is to not have to do a whole bunch of cleanup later. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my mouse key down. Start doing some just hand freeform. Till I get all the way up and around. And so now I've got my complete selection. I'm going to go ahead and control minus and zoom out. And let's go ahead and grab that move tool. So we're going to go ahead and move this up to D, but you're going to see, that, hey, it's looking, it's the wrong way. We want to be able to rotate it. So let's go ahead with our just outside, get those round curved arrows and curve it just a little bit. 
And let's go ahead and drag it down. And you can, with your arrow keys, nudge it. So I'm going down and over so you get it exactly where you want it, kind of over that shadow. And when you're happy with it, let's go ahead and do a Control D and deselect. Oh, hit first hit commit. Sorry, you got to tell it yes this is where I want it. Now we can deselect and let's do a Control S to save. All right, so the lasso key is kind of okay, but doesn't necessarily do exactly what we want to do. So let's go ahead and try a different tool. Let's grab our zoom tool and go ahead and come in on this Nautilus shell down here. And let's grab our space bar and move it up just a little bit. We're going to use what's called the magnetic lasso. So the magnetic lasso makes it easy if you've got freehand selections with high contrast edges. So you can see you've got these really darks and lights. So it's going to make it a little bit easier. Let's come down here to our third one down, which is our magnetic lasso. And our magnetic lasso is basically, as we drag it along, is going to automatically find those edges for us. So it does work a little bit more nicely, but it is easier because this does have some really distinct edges. So we're going to go ahead and walk our way all the way around it. You know, if you start selecting things, they aren't working the way they are, hit escape, start over, control D, turn it off. So here's going to get a little bit more wonky just because we've got a little bit different color coming on. I'm going to go ahead and click here since I know I'm turning a corner. All right. And you can always go back and change your selections, clean them up a little bit. All right, so I've got my complete here. Let's go ahead and grab, double click that hand tool. And it's going to go ahead and make it smaller so we can now grab and now grab that move tool and go ahead and move that up to space number E. And I'm pretty happy with it. So let's go ahead and do a control D and a control S to save. So it's coming together pretty nicely. I know I'm making it look really easy, but that's because I've had a lot of practice. It's going to take time to figure out how to do all of these selection tools. Uh, the next one we're going to do is to take this screw and we're going to select it from the inside out. So selecting from a center point. So let's go ahead and control plus, zoom in, space bar, get my hand. All right, so in order to go from a center point, we're going to grab our elliptical marquee and we are going to make sure we're in about the middle of the screw and we're going to click and without letting go, we're going to hold alter option and it's going to make that selection from the inside out. You kind of get it tell you exactly where you want it. If you do have to change something, you can always let go of the alt and grab or keep alt, grab that space bar at the same time and you can kind of move that selection. So once you're totally happy with it, Let's release the mouse button, then release the other buttons, and you'll get a perfect selection. Now let's go ahead and do a control minus and see. And we're actually going to move this and copy it and put a few different places. So let's do a view fit screen on window. View fit on screen, sorry. View fit on screen. All right, now we're going to go ahead and grab this move tool. And you see if we grab this move tool inside here, it's going to turn into kind of this little pair of scissors. So we've got it moving, but it's going to be way too big. So we want to go ahead and change that up into the top corner. And let's go edit and transform scale. So edit, transform, and scale. And we're going to go ahead and tell it we need to be a little bit smaller. So it's going to give us those transform. And let's go ahead and pull it down to about 40% of what it was before. If you hold shift, it'll hold those, mag hold those proportions. So I'm going to let go of my mouse button. I'm going to let go of shift. I'm going to go ahead and use my arrow buttons and nudge it down and nudge it over until I get four screws that are way too big. So let's do a control plus and zoom in just a little bit more. And a control plus a few more times. Still a little bit big. I'm going to come down and hold my shift bring in that corner just a little bit smaller until I get that exactly where I want it to be. All right, so now we want to be able to add this screw to the other corners. So before I go ahead and 
deselect it, I'm going to hit Alt. And when I hit Alt and go over my selection, of course I want to say yes, this is what I want. Now I'm going to go Alt. Let's Control Plus so you can see better. I'm going to come over here. I'm going to hit the Alt button. You see I get two arrows. And it's going to go ahead and make a copy of that. If I hit Shift as I drag, it'll make sure it goes straight up. So I'm going to put that one in there. Do a control minus and zoom out. Let's hit Alt again. So Alt is a very easy way to make sure that you're grabbing what you want. So you get those two arrows. Bring that over. And let's hit Alt and bring over one more. So you've now added four screws from one single image to your selection. So that makes it very, very easy. You could also do a copy and a paste as a way to do that. So now let's go ahead and crop what we've got. Let's do a control S and save and come down here to our crop tool from our crop tool right now, because I still had something selected. It's saying we want to do that. Let's do escape and let's do a control D and D select. Let's grab our crop tool and we want to go ahead and tell it to be ratio up here. And let's go ahead and we are going to tell it to clear. And that will allow us to go ahead and move these crop bars. So we get kind of an even white border around the whole thing. All right. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm going to go ahead and say yes, commit. And we said delete crop pixels, which means, you know, when you come in, we want you to go ahead and get rid of everything that's behind it. We don't want to have to be able to get to it again. So now you've created this amazing shadow box by using your selection tools. So go ahead, practice. This one's going to take quite a, you know, quite a few tries. It's not going to be as easy as I made it. I promise it's taken me a long time to get to the point where I could do it relatively quickly. Let's do a control S and save and make sure you're turning in this uh, chapter three as Photoshop for your uh, lesson for this one. And that's all you need to do for lesson number three. Talk to you later. Bye.